Today we are going to take you to Florilege Restaurant in Jingu Maie, which is very close to Harajuku in Tokyo. It is a two-star Michelin French restaurant with a modern twist. It's French cuisine, but they use all Japanese ingredients. The name Florilege means a collection of beautiful poems like flowers. Aside from the two Michelin stars, they also received the Asia's 50 Best Restaurant Awards, among other awards. They opened in 2009 and quickly became a two-star Michelin restaurant. As you can see, the decor is very chic. We feel like we're at a fashion boutique. And they also incorporated a lot of nature elements such as trees and stone. They also give us a lot of space in between the customers so that we could maintain a certain amount of privacy and we can also watch all the kitchen actions. So it's a great ambiance. They have an omakase menu. Lunch is 7,000 yen. Dinner is 13,000 yen, which is extremely reasonable for a two-star Michelin restaurant of such high quality. Of course, they will also ask you if you're a vegetarian or if you're allergic to anything, and they will adjust accordingly. The first dish is eggplant tart. The crispy purple skin is made from the eggplant skin. The mousse is also made from eggplants, along with the shizo flowers on top. The whole thing is just delicious, melts in your mouth with strong flavors. The restaurant is quite foreigner friendly. They had an English menu. They also have at least one server who could speak English so that they can explain to us all the background and details of each dish making the dining experience a lot more enjoyable for us. The next dish is oyster with red shizo and small beef intestines from Miyazaki. First of all, it looks beautiful like a piece of artwork. I'm not really an intestine person, but they made the intestines really soft and gooey. They melt in your mouth. The oysters were really fresh as well. The dish was perfection. The chef is obsessed with bringing out the flavors of local ingredients in French dishes made by very sophisticated Japanese cooking style. This is Chef Hirayasu Kawate. His entire family and relatives are actually in the restaurant business. He also went to Paris to learn French cuisine and worked in three-star Michelin restaurants in Tokyo as well. According to some ladies, he's quite easy on the eyes and is also still only in his 30s. The next dish is called Sustainability Beef. This restaurant is really into sustainability. They serve beef from breeding cows who are beyond breeding age. They're much older than normal beef cows. Typically, meat from cows who have given birth is considered too tough and not suitable for high-end dining. But the chef has found a way to tenderize this meat and therefore found a way to use his cows. I gotta say, the meat is just phenomenally tender and delicious. The chef also uses all the leftover vegetables, such as vegetable scraps, and then make it into delicious vegetable consomme to go along with this dish. The beef already has amazing deep flavors, but by adding the consomme, it actually heightened the flavor of the dish. The chef and his team also constantly think of new ways to reuse all the leftover ingredients. For a high-end restaurants, usually these leftovers are all thrown away, but he manages to think creatively on how to reuse these ingredients to its maximum value. The chef is so passionate about sustainability that he gave us this note stating that in Japan alone, there are five to eight billion kilos of food that go to waste. And you can actually feed three countries in Africa with that amount of food. 
So we're very glad that he's fighting for this cause and also make us more aware of just how much food is being wasted in the world every day. The next dish is red salmon with egg yolk. They use Hokkaido salmon along with some salmon roe on top with egg yolks in miso soup smoked in bone marrow sauce with shallots. You're supposed to dip the salmon in the egg yolk to enhance its flavors and other perfect dish. Then we have this soft, gooey, warm bread made with sake. Really, really delicious. The next dish is the succulent pork with crispy skin to be shared with everyone. They want this to be an experience. That's why they have an open kitchen concept where they have servers that will explain all the backgrounds of all the food, how it's made, the seasonal aspects of the meal, the background of the ingredients and the producers. They don't want you to just eat food. They want this to be a dining experience. So they made the pork dish into this beauty. The pork is from Okinawa with sticky rice and miso, among other sauces. The pork has been slowly roasted for a long time and the skin is just crackly and very tasty. The meat is just very tender and juicy. Chef Hiroyasu Kawate is quite obsessed with getting the freshest ingredients. So Jiro, as you know, the most famous sushi chef in Tokyo, he gets most of the freshest fish from the Tsukiji fish market and all the Western ingredients, including the fish and other seafood, will go to Chef Kawate. Chef Kawate also gets all of his vegetables from a small organic farm called Fuji Farm. So as you can see, he gets the freshest ingredients for his food. Then we have the fakes with ginger, mint, and vanilla ice cream. It's really delicious. It's a great combination, very memorable and delicious. The chef table sits around 16 people. They also have a private table that sits around six people, so all together around 22 seats. So you have to make a reservation. It's best if you make it at least one month to two months ahead. And of course, the service is absolutely amazing as with most Japanese restaurants in Japan. Then we have the Amazon chocolates with cookies and cream. Just beautiful and delicious. Ending with some refreshing lemongrass tea. The perfect ending to such a perfect meal are these ground cherries. They are so sweet that it's unreal. Overall, we absolutely love this restaurant. Every single dish was perfection. It was fresh, delicious, creative, artistic. We loved it. And the service was really great. Everyone was really friendly. The ambiance was beautiful and most of all, it was very affordable. So we definitely will come back again and again and we highly recommend it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We will definitely make a lot more videos like this. Thanks again for your support.